Hello, today we're going to turn this photo into a vector. As you can see, this is a rose. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see some of the pixels. So it's a photo. So what? how you do it is uh, you click the rose and then you can see here image trace. You must first click the picture and see the image trace. So you just click the image trace, uh, a silhouette will come out. And then once you expand, then only uh, you'll get the vector. But after you image trace, you need to expand. Okay. There are a few options to vectorize. So just click the drop down. Uh, there are more options. So if I want to keep the colors uh, or some of the palettes, uh, I'll click uh, six colors. So here I'll keep six shades of colors, as you can see. Now again, you need to expand it first. Uh, then only you'll get the vector. There are other options as well. So let's say if I put it uh, high fidelity photo, which uh, is a pain. Uh, it's gonna take longer, but a bit more detailed. Uh, as you can see. So here, if I put it into a low fidelity. So the higher one is more detailed, as you can see, more detailed, less detailed. Okay. Uh, also, if I just uh, click here and just make it a silhouette, uh, it will just become a silhouette. Expand. And then you can just drag it out. Other than roses, you can also, uh, of course, uh, change pictures like Rick here. So Rick here, if you just image trace, uh, you'll get something like, uh, like that. But of course, there's more option if you, let's see how many colors are there in these pictures. Maybe there's around 16. Uh, you can make a good vector art. Okay, so 16 colors. Before, if you zoom in, it's pixelized. Now, it's unpixelized. Pixelized, unpixelized. Expand. Vector rig, no longer pixel rig. Of course, this works differently based on the quality of the picture. So for example, this is a low quality picture. If I just image trace it, you know, there's some unevenness here, but a higher quality one image trace. Uh, yeah, it's more refined or fine. So expand, expand. You can see there's a difference in the quality here like this is uh, more refined while this is a bit jagged okay so that's how you change uh, a picture to a vector